Hola, buenos días, soy Nico. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And today we're here to close out another wonderful week's worth of content. But before we get started, if you like this kind of content, make sure to follow me on Patreon at patreon.com slash aesthetics for exclusive videos, weekly lives, and to be a part of the live streams that air every Thursday at 5.30 and 7 p.m. CDT with a multifaceted panel with various conversations depending on the week. If that sounds interesting to you, definitely tune in. Now let's get on to the actual story. But first, last video's comment. Maybe I'm the only one, but I didn't really care that he was making prison content. For the most part, it seems that was most of the people's general reaction. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but when ATL Tay started doing prison content, everyone was here for it because it fulfilled a special niche slash kink they had for prisoners and felons. I don't know. <laughs> I'm giggly because I personally, I didn't care as much so... I didn't think it was fair that he almost took somebody out of this world and he's essentially living in a playground. You know what I mean? He's getting to film content as he chooses. He's getting large lump sums of money. He has internet access, phone access, social media access. He's not really being held accountable for what he did to that woman who to this day still has to live with metal rods in her back just so that she can function throughout the day. So I didn't necessarily care that it was being filmed in the sense that Oh no, you're filming something that's off limits, but more so, you're not actually being held responsible. That and you're allegedly putting people in danger by doing this. But yeah, that's the situation on that. <laughs> If you notice, I'm going to have to like insert editing Nico in between there to actually talk about the comment. But I also wanted to tell you guys, I hope you enjoy my old microphone. Nico, I tried to buy a ring light. I tried to buy a new microphone because people kept coming online. Oh my God, Nico, the audio, Nico, the audio. And as soon as I got a new microphone, oh my God, this is terrible. Do you not hear how bad this is? So I want you to thank my mom for buying me this tiny ass microphone. And I want y'all to stop complaining because I tried to switch it up and it went worse. But now <laughs> let's get on to the actual story. Today, we are going to be talking about Air Thugger. Nico, I have actually not talked about Air Thugger since the whole situation with James Angel, where he basically broke down why they're no longer cool. Basically, here's the video, but in short, James Angel was running his mouth to the woman that Air Thugger was dating, who was essentially his sugar mama baby. It was like a 21-year-old straight girl that was paying for everything. James Angel ran his mouth saying that, Air Thugger collaborated with trans women and collaborated with men, etc. Blah, 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 blah. Threw his sexuality in the air, ruined the money train. Now, this story is about Air Thugger finally doing gay content. Nico, I saw this pop up on my timeline. And as always, I had to do a little research because one thing straight men will do is scam the gay boy out of his dollar. So I did more research and it turns out that he finally did a man-on-man -man collab. I mean, he did one in the past with Malik Joseph, and that one was simulated, all fake, allegedly. And it's starting to seem like this one is as well. <laughs> Nico, what do you mean? From what I've been told from people that have actually seen the video, there is no oral interaction. There is nothing beyond touching and tugging, and it's all a bit stale. And I'm not surprised... But at the same time, it's like, how much longer can you do the same cash grab and expect it to play out in your favor? For example, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but James Angel has officially started doing by content creation. He allows a certain performer, one of my favorite people, <laughs> to pay him large sums of money so that him and his boyfriend can share a meal. You know, they can, they can share some birthday cake from him to them on camera and that's what he's been doing as of late outside of that i don't necessarily see their names in circulation i mean even when we look at some of the original gay for pay standouts such as flashman wade for some odd reason 
he momentarily deleted all of his content. Like he completely left the OnlyFans stratosphere. And then he came back recently and said, hey, I was going through something, but everything's hyper discounted. Everybody subscribe. I'm back. Let's make this money. And it's so funny to see it all come full circle. And I say that because I've been covering the gay for pay wave that had an extreme resurgence when OnlyFans was at its peak for a few years now. And to see all of the names that I used to talk about that were basically baiting people, that were basically scamming people, that weren't really giving them full content, come full circle and actually start to dabble in full gay content because the gravy chain is running dry, it's interesting. And I definitely want to hear your opinions down below. How do you guys feel about gay for paid content creators finally putting out man-on-man -man content and do you think it's because they've come into a comfort zone with their sexuality, saying that they are fluid and or bisexual? Or do you feel like it's because people are tired of being baited? Especially in today's economy, I will be danged if I spend $20 on a pay-per-view video and it's a bunch of smoke and mirrors. But even in this situation, it's still allegedly smoke and mirrors. But it's the first time in a long time he's done something that is quote-unquote queer-coded that did not involve his other straggit friends such as James Angel. But with that information out, tell me, how do you feel about James Angel, Air Thugger, etc. finally doing gay content? How do you feel about Flashman Wade randomly dipping out and then coming back in with an extreme discount to get more money? Do you feel like the wave of putting straight people on a pedestal within our adult cinematography and or community in general is slowly coming to an end now that we know that it's just essentially grifting? I definitely want to hear your opinions down below and I will see you guys next time. Boop. And now for a brief yet sincere shout out to some of my day one third eye tier subscribers, Terrell and Ian. Your continued support is greatly appreciated and thank you once again to everyone who supports the channel. I genuinely appreciate you. And unfortunately, this week's live stream will be canceled because I will be in the land of beans, toast, and crumpets. Yes, Nico is going to London. I will try to do a travel vlog, but unfortunately, I will not be able to make the live streams, but I will see you guys next time.